This is Ice Cream Gecko, and in today's video we're going to take a look at the Twix Salted Caramel. This was bought for 1 euro and 69 cents at Lidl, and uh, I want to excuse the uh, humming sound in the background. Uh, my computer is currently doing a reset because apparently I couldn't get a vast antivirus software off my computer. It is odd that uh, an antivirus software somehow behaves like a virus that you can't get off your computer. So I just opened up the window so that you can hear some rain noise to counteract that. I am uh, doubtful if that is helpful. Anyways, <laughs> that's the packaging. It is quite beautiful. I like the light blue, kind of a baby blue turquoise-ish color with gold right there. This is uh, for how long we can keep it in our cupboard, but of course these kind of things rarely ever survive that long. This is the nutrition table, if you would like to take a look at that. And this is the ingredients list in uh, various different languages. And uh, is there English in there? Doesn't look like it. We're not going to translate that because uh, that of course takes very long and uh, if there's no English in there it's probably not available in this specific uh, recipe in an English-speaking country, probably. <laughs> this is the little wrapper of the individually wrapped uh, twin twigs. Salted caramel. I think this is on, on, on the shelves for quite some time. I think I've seen a video about this quite a while ago, but this is the first time that I actually noticed it in the papers, in the brochures of the individual the individual shops, and so I uh, sent somebody to buy it. <laughs> let's take a look at one of these. No, let's take a look at both of these. We've got them right here, right? Why not show them off? at the same time. So they, they look a bit different, as if they were coming out of a different machine, and the pattern is slightly different. The, um, the weight, I don't know, maybe the weight is different from a regular one, but... The smell? It... Uh, I haven't eaten Twix in quite a while, but it smells not like I would think Twix smells. It smells more like these... Um, you know when you get these these bigger boxes of different chocolate cookie mixtures, you know, the, the long chocolate wafers and then you've got the cookies with the element splits on there and all that good stuff. It smells more like a package of those, not like something I would expect from Twix. Uh, this is the beautiful thing we are all looking for in our favorite uh, chocolate cookie bar. Does it look different than the regular one? I don't know. I think the regular one is darker. This is, this looks, in in terms of the caramel right here, this looks um, quite quite light, quite bright, a bit milkier than the regular stuff. I think the regular caramel is darker, and it does smell like these mixed chocolate boxes as well. Now I'm gonna take a bite out of that. Now on the first bite I can definitely tell there's some, some unusual texture in there. I guess those are the, the salt crumbs. What's it called? I don't know, you know the little the little things. Uh, those things. But I expected it to be a lot saltier. This is very much like a regular Twix bar. And it isn't really that salty. Now the first one is, is done. And I've got to say, yeah, it is a bit salty. Maybe I just, you know, uh, caught a, a piece that's a bit light on salt, but not as salty as I imagined it to be. Like salted caramel sometimes is very salty, which some people like, of course. You know, there are different uh, tastes when it comes to salt. I am a fan of salt. I like salt. I like, I like a lot of salt on, on tomatoes. When you put tomatoes on your bread, some, some cream cheese below that. Um, it's lovely. Absolutely lovely. Now, I must say that it is overall a nicely balanced little chocolate bar, I have to say. Um, again, I, I think there could be more salt in there. But I must say that the Twix bars usually... They are among the saltier bars anyways. At least usually it feels like that to me. When you compare this to like a Snickers or a Mars bar, 
In those, you don't taste any salt, but in Twixes, sometimes you do a little bit. Maybe that's because of the because of the biscuit inside of there. I am not sure, um, but maybe that's the reason why I'm not as uh, surprised by the the salt flavor. Maybe I'm just weird, and I imagine salt where there isn't any salt. But this one right here, quite nice, quite nice so far. Now, an entire twin bar is now uh, finished, and I've got to say that I've got to roll back just a little bit on that uh, salt amount. It is fine, it is absolutely fine. It's a well-balanced flavor. In the end, it's probably just the right amount of salt in there, with that thicker grain, um, what, or was it, was it called, coarser? Coarse grain, right? I think that's it. It's fine, absolutely fine. Um, it tastes good. And I've got to say uh, that I hope that this is not just, you know, just a, just a spring product. I hope that this stays, because other than some other Twixes they did uh, a few years back, this one seems to be some, some flavour to keep. Yeah, I've got to say that. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video, and I hope I'm going to see you soon. Until then, goodbye.